Hello friends, this is Yusuf here. Welcome to another coding challenge video. Okay, so this video uh, we're gonna do some uh, subfile uh, coding, uh, Windows subfile coding basically. Okay, so before I tell you the uh, challenge, let me directly show the output. That's how we normally do. So I'm going here. Basically, I have here one display file and one RPG early. Okay, so I'm just going to um, call this program, and what you see is actually uh, two different uh, Windows subfile on the same screen. Okay, so the idea behind this actually kind of okay. Uh, sometimes we may need to uh, select uh, a country, and then from that country uh, we should be displaying some cities belongs to that country, and we may need to select multiple cities from that. Okay, so assume uh, that is the scenario, but we are trying to mock up here. So this is the front first screen. Okay, so I can either uh, use my uh, arrow keys for go up, go down, then I can use the mouse to see one by one. Okay. I can also use page up or page down okay uh, and then I can use space bar to select the country so this is the radio button so we can select only one at a time okay so say for example I am selecting country 2 okay when I press enter it will go to the next sub file here we can select multiple cities okay and then finally uh, when I click enter in this screen we should be able to tell what are all the cities we selected so in this case 1 2 and 4 so if you see 1 2 and four so this is what we are trying to do so this is actually a very uh, simple uh, code just to give the idea of how this is happening okay but you can very well build on, uh, on your own custom logic on top of it okay so this is the challenge so if you know how, uh, already how to do it so you can do it if not let's see what how i have done okay so basically here uh, i have this particular uh, display file uh, it's very simple uh, but i'll explain it okay here it seems uh, small visibility so i have already copied this source into here okay so yeah so let me explain one, one by one so first of all if i split this into two right so we, here this is belongs to the first uh, uh, sub file okay the second one belongs to the second sub file okay so here what we have done we have created a window sub file so how do we create it so simple so if you have a display file in 17 we will go create uh, say for example w uh, test okay, I'm just giving some random and here you can select W N W so W D W S F file okay window sub file so here you can give now once you have uh, give enter you can select the control format for that so this control will be your control format this will be your data format okay so that I have already done so here you can see this is our control format and this is our data format okay so this represent one sub file this represents second sub file so let's go back here so what we have done so in our data portion okay we have only one field called uh, country okay and uh, if you can see you can see here there is another field called CTL field that is we define that as a SFL uh, choice control okay so this, this is how we are able to convert this into a uh, radio radio button or a checkbox both radio button and checkbox are actually a choice control uh, whether you are going to select one out of it or many out of it that difference is there so if it is only one then that is called single choice so here you can see there is a uh, SFL single choice uh, keyword here so which means uh, it knows that in this thing we have one uh, single choice uh, selection uh, thing okay that we have we are relating it with here okay similarly if you see the second sub file the same uh, keyword is there but you can see here is sfl multi choice so that's why it behaves as multi selection okay so let's first concentrate on the first portion so what we special we have okay these things we already know which this is a normal uh, sub file portion uh, we have a display display control and then clear and then sfl end okay we are using the same indicator for everything except clear is negative uh, 50 and then uh, if you come down here is the one of the interesting interesting thing so subfile page we have given four so at a time we will display four records and subfile size we didn't give anything uh, like uh, as hard, hard coded because we are going to determine that in the runtime okay so for that we can define a variable inside with the type as p okay so p means program to system variables okay so if you assign any value to this that will be randomly uh, dynamically assigned to this particular field basically okay and then we have a window here okay and window this is actually the size of the window uh, which comes something like uh, here okay and then uh, we are giving two texts actually on the title 
So, one is the general one countries, another one actually uh, the text and we are also specifying the position ok, it is a left bottom which means uh, left hand side and bottom ok, that is why we have just seen it here bar bar. So, this is a uh, left hand side bottom ok, fine. So, you, if you understood, understood this portion right, second is very straightforward, the same thing we have given down except that we have given this as a multi choice field and then we have changed the uh, different indicator for that ok and then we have a different window position because we wanted to see it in, uh, side by side ok and here also we have this uh, number uh, number of sub file size variable uh, declared here ok after that header and footer are just simple record formats which is having some uh, data ok now let us go to the program ok let us go to the program so here is the program ok uh, let me explain one by one so here we have declared the sub file uh, as a file and then we have two different sub file inside actually so we have declared uh, both the record format with rr and 1 and 2 and then we have two more variables let me explain that later. So here what we are doing ok let me first give you the full background first what we are going to do we are going to clear the sub file and then load the first sub file ok here and then we are going to clear the second sub file load the sub file here but we will not be uh, displaying it ok we will just write it ok and once this is done we will first display the first sub file ok and then after we give the uh, or selected the country then we will display the second sub file and then after the selection is done we will display the selection that is the whole idea. So, here let us see step by step. So, first I am clearing the first sub file uh, nothing but we, uh, we just saw the first sub file is having the indicator 50 for the sub file indicator. So, we do like uh, off then clear the normal stuff ok and then loading. So, for loading I am just uh, hard coding the value as of now. So, I am just running the loop in a for loop from 1 to 7 and then incrementing the RRN 1 for that sub file and then for the country field and I am dynamically populating country is equal to country then space the number ok and then I am writing it to the uh, data portion and then once that is done I am copying that RRN value to this uh, number of record value so that it gets updated into the uh, SFL size variable. So, this is pretty much like we are just clearing and uh, writing the first sub file and then we are doing the pretty much same for the second sub file we are clearing stuff loading stuff here we uh, we tell this as a city because the variable name is city ok then this portion is also done. Now, we have both the sub files are loaded and written but not displayed ok before displaying what we are doing like we are writing the header writing the footer and writing the second uh, sub file ok all the things are already overlaid. So, if you come here and then check for the overlay we can see every record is set as overlay so that we will be seeing everything at once ok and what we are doing so we are just writing everything and then finally uh, we are doing the exfmt on the first sub file. So, now what this will do let me show here ok first it will write this data and then this data ok and then we will write this we will this we will write this then we will exfmd this only per this particular things ok. So, in this situation only this uh, first sub file is readable. So, you can go here you can you cannot do anything here basically ok only this is currently uh, visible. So, now I can make selection uh, whatever I want and then say when I press enter here you can see after this exfmd I am actually displaying the uh, second sub file. So, if you give enter it goes to the second screen basically ok and then here I can do multiple selection whatever I want ok and then now assume I have already selected if I press enter the control will come down ok. So, here what we are doing we are just again uh, doing a for loop between 1 to the number of record of the second sub file and then we are chaining the RRN uh, with the data portion of the second sub file and for each record this uh, CTL FLD field will be available and this CTL FLD field is nothing but the one which we have given here as uh, where is it? Yeah, here is a sub file choice control field ok. So, that will be normally 0 if selection is made it will be 1 ok. So, if at all that field is 1 then we are just displaying the city ok that is it. So, this is the whole idea hope you got the background of it uh, how do we do that ok. And then few things let me clarify ok there are few new keywords something like um, this one ok user restore display ok. So, the user restore display is actually used uh, for displaying more than one sub file 
okay let's see what happens if suppose i comment this portion okay let's go here i'm going to the display file and then here is the user display thing let me comment this out and then come down and then here also there is a user display so i'm going to comment this one so now if i compile this and then compile this and call now we can see there is a delay between those two sub files okay and then after if i made selection of here then that disappears okay so to avoid this we need to give this keyword uh, user uh, restore display which means the display will be controlled by the user okay and also when when it's displaying something right as of now it's displaying this particular uh, second sub file when we after we do selection and when we give enter it has to restore the old display that's what the uh, user uh, display user restore display tells so if you have any uh, clarification uh, i'll give the link in the description below you can go to the ibm official website to learn those steps okay so that's pretty much what i want to cover in this video so the main objective of this is okay one important stuff okay so look at this okay uh, m o u b t n okay this is nothing but actually you can select the thing using your mouse okay it, using your mouse you can select and you can double click it actually for the selection so in my mac it's not working but i already tried in my windows laptop it was working okay so you can double click it so how that works so basically m u b d b t n means mouse button okay and star u l d means nothing but u means up okay mouse click is the right uh, click means down release means up okay and l d means l means left hand side okay d means double click so when you press double click then that is considered as enter okay so that's what this uh, definition so if you are uh, running this program in your windows pc maybe uh, it will work i don't know why it's not working in mac okay but it works so you can press double click to select the particular uh, thing in the uh, sub file selection control okay so that's pretty much i want to cover so we have just learned something like um, single choice uh, single sorry sub file single selection and sub file multi selection so that is equivalent to the radio button check boxes okay and then we can uh, display side by side and then we can control it based on that okay so i hope this helps and um, if you if you are really a beginner and trying to understand these stuffs okay you can go and watch my uh, sub file beginner video that will be helpful and uh, yeah so i'll see you in the next video with different concepts thanks for watching